welcome back to Shovelware Nights. My name is Patrick, joined by Chris to my left. I'm Chris. And Andrew to my right. I'm Andrew. Yeah. And last time Andrew played The Wright Brothers Mysteries. It had the right stuff. It had the right stuff, and it was certainly a mystery as to who thought that was a good idea. I'm going to be playing a game that I actually have no idea what it's going to be, but it reminds me of a game that I used to play in the past. Space Fighter 4000 Training. And this reminds me, just from the cover art, of a game called Space Fighter 3000. Made by oh Studio 3DO, and it came on a, on, a, on a little crappy little disc. Oh, it looks so good. I mean... The, the thing is, Space Fighter 3000 was a good game. I remember playing a whole lot of it, and it looked worse than this. Like, your ship had, like, eight polygon faces on it, and that was it. Like, it was a very old game. Like, one of the first 3D games, you know? Yeah. A la, a la Quake or something, you know? It doesn't have a whole lot of... Uh, doesn't have a whole lot of... Uh, of graphics and honestly this kind of does feel like space fighter 3000 well, there you go you got what a, you want kind of a, a bit of a, a throwback to I me hope you enjoyed the next two and a half minutes i will <laughs> i will although i don't know how to do anything anyway oh, as drop promised i am going to continue our conversation about copyright from does, last episode does this have my, my question is does this have level de deformation I got turned down. Are you asking if, if you shoot a mountain, if the mountain will change? Yeah, because Space Fighter 3000 had that. You could well, shoot, shoot mountains. a mountain. And you could, like, make tunnels or, like, destroy the ground underneath. I think you're like... thinking of Red Faction. No, no, no. Space Fighter 3000. No, no, Look Red it up. Faction. I think you're thinking of Dig Down. I, I, still, <gasps> I, Dig still down. Have, I still have the damn disc of it. I can show the it to damn you. The damn disc. The damn well, disc. Well, shoot a mountain. The other interesting thing about... Um, oh, you're the worst. I already did. I shot him out and didn't, didn't do anything. Didn't the other thing about Space view. Fighter 3000 is that it would... Uh, you would get power-ups in the shape of shapes. So you, you would get, suck. like, triangles and, you know, tetrahedrons, and then you could get upgrades by collecting them in certain orders. So you mm. could make, get, like, a permanent upgrade for your ship that had, like, another laser cannon. You could get, like, a speed boost... You could get like stat upgrades by collecting these these what are, are effectively gems that you would collect in the level by destroying things. So it's basically it. Candy Crush. You play Candy Crush. <laughs> Not really. No, exactly Candy Crush. So here's here's a thing that I was thinking about. Okay. Mm -hmm. We were talking Back about uh, the movies from the last episode and how, mm -hmm. depending on the rights of that, how that worked, and that got me thinking about. So we've played a bunch of games that are clearly like. Hey, what, what game am I going to make? Well, I like Civ. Let's basically make Civ, but we'll make it just different enough that it's okay. Right. And there are movie studios that that's kind of their whole deal. Like Asylum that's, Studios. That's true, yeah. They make a movie that's kind of like it, but it's still different enough. And that's true of everything. There are movies that are basically other movies, but they're different enough. Mm -hmm. Games that are different enough. Serials. That's the thing that bothers me. Serials don't do that. What do you mean? So, if I go downstairs right now, I have a box that if you were to pour that cereal into a bowl and take another box of Apple Jacks and pour Apple Jacks into yeah. a bowl, indistinguishable. They look exactly the same. But it's got different names. It does have a different name, but that's not enough for other properties. If I made a movie that was exactly the same in every way as Batman Begins and I called it The Bat Starts well, His Day. Now, now, Oops, sorry. Now, hold on, now hold on a second because you're telling me your Apollos taste like Apple Jacks? They taste just like Apple Jacks and they look exactly like Apple Jacks. I mean, they look the same, but I mean, I didn't try them. I, I, what I know is that like, you know, I'll get a Cheerios, I'll get an off-brand Cheerios and I'm, I'm not having the same experience with an off-brand Cheerios. I can tell you with these Apollos, I'm having the the same experience. Well, maybe you're maybe you're blowing the lid off this whole thing. <laughs> you know, maybe Athelos is like gonna gonna order a, a takedown of this video because we're ruining <laughs> everything for them. Ruining their lives. But like with off-brand cereals, well, Cheerios are an exception. Like you can't really match that cardboard flavor I mean, very accurately. That delicious, good flavor. Yes. That delicious uh, it is, flavor is hard to get. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I've had off-brands that are indistinguishable, except for like. Well, I mean, the recipe is a, is a is a closely guarded secret, so it must be their best approximation of the recipe. I don't, it's it smells just like it tastes just and, like and it. And here's another here's another concept that might actually be the true answer to your to your your question. Yeah, is that you know these cereal companies make 
their off-brand versions. Ah, uh, that's a good point. As well, so you actually might literally be eating them. I might just be eating Apple Jacks. Yeah. Because that's always bothered me. Like, <coughs> cough, excuse cough. me. Like, you can get Fruit Loops and you can get an off-brand Fruit Loops, and they're just the same. They look the same. They taste the same. They smell the same. The only difference is the box art. And other properties, like, you have to change more, otherwise you're in violation. So cereals are a weird, weird thing that I don't know much about. But you're right. I imagine the companies do make their own off-brand version. Yeah, yeah. That way they uh, don't have to worry about com competitors. They just compete with themselves. Right, right. Everyone wants the name brand. I mean, for some things you do, because as Andrew said, Cheerios, it's hard to get a good off-brand Cheerio that's not yeah. disappointing. But for crap like Apple Jacks and Fruit Loops, you can find versions that are exactly the same. Yeah, like, when it's really simple, when it's like Corn Flakes, I feel like we're pretty simple to, to copy. Yeah. Or Bran Flakes or whatever. Off-brand version of Frosted Flakes is indistinguishable from Frosted Flakes. I'm pretty sure, like, off-brand Frosted Flakes are called Frosted Flakes. I think so. Like, you could just, that's like, the name is, like, generic enough you're allowed to. But isn't it, like, Frosted Flakes, the full name is, like, Frosted Flakes of Corn? It's or like, something. It's like a very small, like, in the corner, it's like, <laughs> of corn. It's definitely frosted corn. Frosted corn. It used to be sugar frosted flakes. Yeah, yeah. Everyone had the the sugar in their title, but no one no one wanted to hear that anymore. I'm sure the guy who made corn flakes was very upset that someone made frosted flakes. Yeah, yeah. Because Kellogg. Yeah, didn't what? Kellogg make those as like a weird like stop masturbating situation? Yeah. He, yeah. It's like if I make really boring breakfast cereal, people will stop touching their penises. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's not. You're not. You're not spinning lies here. It's just very strange that that is the truth. It sounds like it would like, be a lie. Like it sounds like something stupid you make up, but it's As actually I want the truth. To. And kind of dumb, but that's the truth. Sometimes on this show, you get little pearls of wisdom that you would never expect. <laughs> this is definitely one of them. Sorry, Patrick, I know you wanted to talk about this game where lasers are flying everywhere, and I made it about breakfast cereal. <laughs> you see, at the end of the last episode when you were saying you were talking about cereals, I thought you were going to talk about breakfast cereals. And then when the episode began and you were talking about cereals, I was thinking you were going to talk about the other cereals. Mm. Like serialized yeah, television? Yeah, exactly. And then you started talking about cereals, so I was a little confused. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, while I was eating my breakfast today, I was like... This annoys me that this is just Apple Jacks, and I can't run out there and make a movie that's a ripoff of another movie. <laughs> and then I realized, like, I don't know how copyright works in the world of food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gotta be different. Because at that point, it's not... Is it copyright, or is it, like, tr just trade secrets? I don't know, because... Like, I, I can't like... release... It's weird, it's just... It weirds me out a little bit that I can eat a cereal <laughs> think... that... Is indistinguishable from another cereal. I feel like with food, it's just maybe just the name because, like Coca Cola, they've got like their secret formula. I suppose. And they're they're not sharing it. Only like no one knows the formula. There's, only, there's like two people in the world, and they each know half of it. Uh, that's true. I guess it might be a different thing with uh, with edibles. Well, we sure hope you enjoy our <laughs> our cereal show. I'm just like. <laughs> rubbing my eyes because my head hurts after playing that. Oh my god. Yeah, games like that could sometimes uh, weigh on you. That was a terrible game. <laughs> I like when you open up with, it's just like that game I love! Well, and then by it, the it end, actually, I hate this game! It actually is just like that game, but, but it's worse. worse. <laughs> Without Space that Fighter 3000 is a terrain, good game, but it's got a good soundtrack, and I still have the damn disc to this day. Made by Studio 3 Do. Ah, uh, good old 3 Do. Yeah. Three dog, <laughs> studio three dog down. This is three dog here coming to you live. From I think the studio three dog made like a bunch of other. It's three do, but I think they made a bunch of other good games. But they're a good developer back in the nineties. You know, I don't. I'm learning as you tell me. Okay. Well, <laughs> when I was a child, there were only so many studios I knew about. There was Rare and Blizzard, Bullfrog, Bullfrog. I agreed with you, even though I don't know what Bullfrog made. Uh, they made Dungeon Keeper. And I don't they think also I knew made, them well enough, then. They made Syndicate. 
Because that's just a game I knew without knowing the developer. Whereas, like, with Dungeon Rare Keeper. and... Yeah, I played Dungeon Keeper, but, like, with Blizzard, they had they had a presence, so I knew about the company that made the game. Yeah. Whereas other games I played around that time in my life, I couldn't tell you who made the game. Like, uh, Blade Ripoff of Diablo, Nox. Loved that game as a kid. I made my first online guild in that game. <laughs> Don't know who made that game. All right. Origin. All right, all right, all right. Right. What about the origin of things? No, origin. Um, they made the Ultima series, and I guess I did Wing know origin because I, I did play Wing Commander and a few of the Ultimas, particularly Ultima Online. I have a lot of good stories about Ultima Online that I won't start saying now, otherwise this episode will never end. Good. Because <laughs> I want this episode to end. Then so, end it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Kill me. What? Bye. I love you. Bye. Andrew doesn't love you, though. No, I don't. Beep, 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 beep. I'm not going to be using this for the outro, so you're just making noises for no reason. <laughs> you're I mean, making noises I do this to you when there are no microphones around anyway. <laughs> Beep, beep, boop, beep.